All right, my dudes, this is gonna be my ready for action comprehensive beta guide. Okay, so beta is a melee, uh, he is a melee, uh, survivor, and he's supposed to be his best position in the formation is at the front, uh, as with most melee. Uh, an exception of to that rule I found so far was Holly, which is a weird, weird. I won't let you down. You know, she's melee middle, and you can only do middle. So that's this is. I think they made this bad survivor. Let's kick some ass. On purpose, you can't have good survivors if you don't have bad ones. But it just makes logical sense that your melee. Uh, tr your melee formation, your melee crew would be in the front of the formation, and so this is my second. Uh, it's a good defensive. Uh, so this team, uh, Beta, Alpha, and Lydia, uh, it's a good another defensive um, team that is good at uh, killing troops. So you have your three, um, you have your three skills with over 200%. Well, this one is not 200%, but just high wounded rate on all three of your skills. And then you have a good defense skill. So that's crew health. Okay. So, and then, uh, so as far as his ranking, he's ranked number four, like out of all of the, survivors in the game i believe he is the fourth strongest in in all his stats at level 100 and you he is not an elite legendary character so you can get him to 100 with legendary fragments which is probably what i'm going to wind up doing i think he's at four stars right now i think for his fifth star definitely going to use legendary fragments and i don't have too many to go really so he's going to be five stars eventually and he's kind of an upgrade from uh michonne he's a lot stronger than michonne michonne is like the 10th she's pretty strong when you max her out and she's cheap and easy to max out and she has a good team uh but uh Beta is a lot stronger, a bit stronger, and is basically the same troop. They're both melee, but Beta is a lot stronger. So this is the next level. So his he only has one chemistry team, is which is the Whisperers, and it buffs the attack. So not only is he the fourth strongest, but then you can buff his what he has all the way up a 30 more percent with your with with the three in the uh, with three in your crew okay so as with all of the troops if you want to know with all of the survivors if you want to know what type of troop you want to have in his formation or in his crew is you look at the pictures on the skills if you see a melee weapon then you probably want to use melee troops that's the best for that for that survivor if you see a ranged weapon or you know a gun or something then you want to use a sharp shooting troop and cavalry is interchangeable you can use cavalry with a melee troop or a uh, or a uh, sharpshooter troop um, that's my understanding of how that works. Okay, and so I see him. So this is my second. So once I haven't finished this team, I don't have this team together. But uh, once I get this team together, uh, this com this combined with my other team, my prison recon team, is going to make my... Uh, defensive strategy just ridiculous and uh yeah i think that's pretty much all you need to know about beta 
I do recommend him. Make sure you do Michonne first because she's a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, she's cheaper. Uh, you can do beta. I mean, you can do them both because you can't use. You can do them both at the same time if you want. Because you can't use legendary fragments on Michonne. So the first hero I will use legendary fragments on is Beta. Go ahead on and get him to a 100. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a good second team for me. So that is the comprehensive Beta guide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video.